help! Help! Hey, Paul's in trouble. Hey, get drunk. Paul has stopped breathing, so from now on, every second counts. The sooner air can be got into his lungs, the better the chances of his living rather than drowning. Because his rescuer is a strong swimmer, he can ventilate Paul while they're still in the water. See how he extends the neck to make an airway. Go to the clubhouse. After making that airway again, clear the mouth of debris and start mouth to mouth at once. Every second counts. Get air in. Don't panic. Just get air in. Don't give up. Don't ever give up until a doctor orders you to. Good hands to in the recovery position. OK, turn him over now. Steady with it. Whatever the circumstances, you must always get air into the lungs at the first opportunity, which almost always means when the casualty is out of immediate danger and it's physically possible to give mouth to mouth. Don't wait until it's convenient. What's convenient for you could mean death for the casualty. And don't panic either. Leave that to others. Give the panicker something useful to do, even if it is your mother, and get on with it. B, then, stands for breathe for him. Now here there's going to be an extra complication. Let's watch. In this case, he stopped breathing because the electric shock has paralyzed the muscles and nerves that control that breathing. But this time, there's more to it. He got a belt or something and he stopped breathing. Okay, then I'll take over here. You go After a few inflations, he's still pale and perhaps going blue. There's no major pulse, which means his heart has stopped as well. And ventilation on its own is not enough. The heart must be restarted by ECC, external chest compression. Divide the bottom two thirds of his breastbone in half to find the bottom third. Put the heel of one hand there. Cover this hand with the heel of your other hand and interlock your fingers. Keep your arms straight and press and press at about 80 times a minute, just over one a second. Incidentally, never do this on a conscious patient. His normal heartbeat could be upset by it. This is the C of our ABC. Circulate the blood by chest compression. The casualty should be on a firm surface. The breastbone can be pressed down safely for about four centimeters, one and a half inches. And what you're doing is raising and lowering the pressure in the chest, forcing blood out through the arteries, carrying with it the oxygen you've supplied by mouth to mouth and sucking blood in through the veins. 
The compressions should be firm and controlled. Violent movement fails to produce the right pumping action and could damage internal organs. And of course, you must keep up the ventilation. Because he's on his own, this rescuer is giving two inflations for every 15 compressions. If you have a helper, you should give one inflation for every five compressions. Okay, take over the ventilation. Pulse. Got it. Well done. And remember, never give up. Never give up. Always assume that life is there until you're proved wrong. Got a good pulse. Well done. Let's go through it once more. Breathing stopped? As soon as you possibly can, make an airway. This may be all you need to do to save a life. If breathing doesn't restart, ventilate without delay. Remember, seconds count. When breathing starts, gently place the casualty in the recovery position. Heart stopped. That is, ventilation has no effect and there's no pulse. Then ventilate and give ECC. And keep it up until he recovers or a doctor says he's dead. Remember, most of us can save lives if we learn the ABC of cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR.